Hi, my name is Thomas Mulia. Welcome to the Commons. Today I'm going to be sharing my song, The Litany of Humility, and a little bit of the inspiration behind the song. From my desire to be loved From my desire to be extolled From my desire to be honored From my desire to be praised From my desire to be preferred to From my desire to be consulted from my desire to be approved Deliver me, Jesus Oh Jesus, meek and humble hearted Hear my prayer From the fear to be despised From fear of suffering rebuke From the fear to be defamed And from the fear to be forgotten From the fear of ridicule Fear to be wronged or suspected Deliver me, Jesus Oh, Jesus, meek and humble So the Litany of Humility, it's this beautiful prayer that honestly I just found online one night. I was trying to write a song and I stumbled across this prayer and I started reading these phrases like, let others be loved more than me. Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. That others might be preferred to me in all things. That others might become holier than I. Jesus grant me the grace to desire it. And I thought, man, like I... I don't think I can honestly ask for any of those things and mean it in my heart, nor do I have any of these desires. But I wish that I did, and I wish that I could. Something in me wants to be that kind of person. And so 
the litany of humility has become a very important prayer in my life and one that I keep coming back to over and over again. And it's something that I strive to live out each day. And to be honest with you, most days are a failure. But it's a beautiful way that we can try to imitate Christ and the way that he loved, the way that we're meant to love others. To hear the church pray this prayer in an age of political extremism when most people are more willing to die for their opinions than for their neighbors or for their family and friends, it's, it's truly a powerful witness to Christ and to his love. And so I hope that you'll check out the full version of the prayer. There's a lot more to it than is included in this song. And I hope that it becomes a part of your life and a part of your walk with God. Thank you.